Therefore, one has to ask, what is the relationship of desire, which is for most of us the actuality, what is the relationship of desire to love? And where there is desire, the the urge to fulfil the energy of that desire, will it end sorrow? Or the understanding of all causation, the investigation of all causation, you follow? Our life is based on causation. I do this because in doing this I'll get a reward. If I do this, I'll be punished. So our life is essentially based on various causes. And where there is a cause, there must be an end. So we cling to causation. I wonder if you follow me. You understand? Causation, the motive, the result, the reward, the punishment. That's our life. And so our life is a process of cause and effect. From that effect becomes the cause. And so it's a perpetual chain. And thought realises this, if you are at all aware of all this. And what is life without a cause? Can one live without a cause? is suffering has a cause, which is my desire to be attached, my desire to possess, in that possession I feel safe, in holding on to a belief there is certain security, So there is always this process of cause and effect. So the cause of suffering is my movement of self-centred isolation. This is obvious. There are two wars are going on at present, Lebanon, Iraq and Iran. They're all human beings. They have isolated themselves as the Israelis, the Iranians and the Iraq. They have isolated themselves. In that isolation, therefore, there is security. That isolation is bringing about tremendous wars throughout the world, in the past and in the present, and probably in the future. So wherever there is isolation, there must be grief, there must be conflict. This is a law, this is so. And our whole life is a process of isolation. So there is conflict, there is grief, there is sorrow. So then one asks, is it possible to live in this world 
without a cause and without isolation. Right? And therefore one asks, is love, has love a cause? Please ask yourself, I'm, I'm only, the speaker is only verbalizing what you ask, ask me, what you want, what your inquiry is. is lo- has love a cause, has intelligence the capacity to observe very clearly, without any distortion, without any bias, without the previous knowledge which guides to observe so closely. There's no cause. So, love has no cause. And can one live in this world, which is appalling, so utterly destructive? Can one live in this world with that intelligence which has no cause and that love which has no cause? Which means, can one live in this world with complete compassion? Compassion can only be when you don't, thought doesn't belong to any group, any association, any isolation. 